Happy Naomi goes out on her first outing as a Yeye Lua of Ife with the Oni of Ife. Yes, this is finally coming to reality. Dreams come true. When she came into the palace to reclaim her title from Olori Aderonke, the first thing people could say was, eh, Olori Naomi too, she too, they do. If she knew she was not going to leave this title for Olori Aderonke, she should have not let her drag the staff at all. How was she going to do that? Immediately they said, this title has now had an office and they want to recognize it more than they did before now. And it has a staff of authority. The first thing Olori Aderonke could do was to rush for the staff with Olori Naomi. So tell me what Olori Naomi would have done. This woman, she cannot go ahead and fight Olori at the rock in any way at all. That is one thing we know for sure. Naomi cannot fight Olori at the rock, not for any reason at all. But it stands right now, people felt they would drag her, people felt they could push her around. But today, she has reclaimed her title. And upon reclamation of this title, sure you follow no say the women of Ileife have jubilated with her. Yes, because the women of Ileife was one among the sole persons who felt Olori Naomi deserved that title. They were one among the persons who, who saw to it that no matter what happens, Olori Adironke does not come into office on that particular title yes they were one among the persons who saw to it that it doesn't come to reality that another person embraces that title because even the tight that title coming to limelight was as a result of what olori naomi's wedding when the women of ileife saw her and they saw potentials they saw capabilities they saw a woman who is going to be a, a in fact it was going to be a support system to their king that was why they were they started calling her the yellower of ife not like it was one specific title kept that when she comes in it was at her sight they saw too much to behold and they gave her a title so the woman of Ileife felt it is only right that she comes back into the palace and play her role as a Yeye Lua of Ife. Those possibilities, those potentials, every single thing they saw in her, that they started calling her that title that day. It's only right that she comes back into the palace and she does it rightly for them. And now she's back in the palace and they are very happy. I remember when Olori Adironke came out fighting for this title, there was something that the elders did. The elders told her that if if Olori Naomi does not bear that title, then the title is better off not to exist. Yes, that was how bad the situation got. They came they came to a point of them saying that what if Olori Naomi will not bear this title, then forget it. There is no other person who will bear it because she was the one who the people saw to eat that was they they could give this title to then they now gave her and you know there was something that the elder said they said the person bearing the title now is also a human being and the person has capabilities to handle it that was why the person was given the title but when the only spoke about this title you could hear how he spoke very vocal he came out in such a way that Oloria de Ronke too did not like the output he told her that the person bearing this title presently has value more than she do Ooh, that entered yes I feel Olori Adironke felt bad with that very rest. That singular response they only gave her and she vowed not to let go of the title because all these while Olori Naomi keeps winning above this woman. Every single thing Olori Naomi has won. Every small thing Olori Naomi has won. And look at it right now. When uh, Olori Miriam heard of her vacation with the only what did she do? She started vandalizing every single thing in the palace. Now this whole reunion that took place between the only and Olori Naomi if you ask, it is not what none of this Olori wants. That was not what they wanted. So that was why before this will come to reality, they tried every single thing possible. They tried every single thing within their power, every single thing within their capacity to make sure that it doesn't come to pass. But when God says otherwise on a matter, who are you to say something else? Because look at the extent these women went to. Um, during Tedenikawo's birthday, look at what uh, Olori Adenronke did when Olori Adenronke heard of the meeting that Olori Naomi's mother had with the Kabiesi in the palace. Look at how she rushed to Akure. Nobody knows what she wants to do in Akure. But you know, when it came to Tedenikawo's birthday, when she carried gifts to Akure, Simi, Olori Naomi's sister, came out to tell her that you are the only one who knows what has brought you in Akure because as it stands, we don't know. Nobody invited you for this birthday. So that's to tell you how much these women 
put in effort down to the extent of faking pregnancy trying to get kbs side chick to fake pregnancy a lot of things my people lots and lots of things these women have done to make sure that although naomi does not return back into the palace but today where are we although naomi has returned into the palace happily ever after with the only and congratulations are trooping in from everywhere every side everybody is coming in to congratulate olori naomi and as it stands right now you know, right now she has gone out on an outing with the only of ife performing her duties as a yeye lua of ife my people who wants to fight this woman again hey nobody will raise the person's hand because each person day olori naomi keeps proving herself she keeps proven to be better she keeps proving to be that very singular person whom you cannot fight who you cannot touch she has made this woman so so amazing yes god has given her all she ever needed to survive in this life and with all of this uh, palace wahala you know people keep dragging her till now people are still dragging her for for getting married to a traditional ruler where she knows she's a prophet is. right now that she's returning back into her marriage what makes her feel she will stay she will still leave well whatsoever happens let's watch and see since it's a palace matter i will carry and fresh as they happen bring for owner because what people are feeling right now she is now looking at entitlement and she's a prophetess the people willingly gave her this very title she's bearing and at a very large extent i feel if the people give her something she should not reject it yes that's what my own thought on this if people give her something there is no need for her to go ahead and reject what the people have found her worthy for but people feel at the same time the online in-laws some of them you know there is always division no matter how you feel people are supporting you there are people somewhere that are actually against you and on that singular note, people are still calling her out that she is now chasing after titles and other things. Because she as a prophetess, they expected more from her. They expected her to do better than what she has just done. Coming out to, to you know, reclaim that title from Olori Aderonke and do everything.